Our first award is tomorrow's leader. Think about it. We're not saying you're not leaders today. We're just saying... <laughs> we're just saying we expect you to be better leaders tomorrow. <laughs> now, the, this award recognizes a talented individual called to the bar for 10 years or less who will continue the evolution. And it's really the young and the beautiful. But when you see the video, you'll know who the beautiful one is. Here to present tomorrow's leader award is Greg McNabb, partner in the Corporate and Securities Practice Group of Baker McKenzie. Thank you. It's always tough to follow somebody that uses the word crap in their remarks. You can't top that. Um, so on behalf of my, my colleagues from Baker McKenzie with me here tonight at our table, uh, I'd like to thank the organizers just for the opportunity uh, to present tonight's first award for tomorrow's leader. And so this is the worst position next to being standing between people in the bar. I'm standing between you and dinner, so I'll be brief. Um, as someone who spent some time, I did some time in-house at Stelco during its restructuring, I've always appreciated the relationship between the private bar and our own, our in-house counterparts. Uh, if nothing else, my time there quickly dispelled the myth that in-house was a, a cushy place to be as a lawyer. So it gives me great pleasure to congratulate uh, all the uh, nominees for the award and the finalists that are here tonight. Uh, as the, the, I, I head up our global mining group at Baker, and so I'm personally pleased to see that two of the six in this category tonight uh, are organizations that are very active in the mining space. And uh, so, of course, all of these organizations have an international flair to them, much like uh, Baker McKenzie does. So even the Sinai Health System, which provides some of the best care in the world to people from all over the world. But each of the candidates comes from an organization. Yeah, you can clap for yourself. Uh, each of the candidates comes from uh, an organization and in, in an industry facing unique, interesting, uh, and different challenges. Uh, it's an exciting time for them. And I wish them all good luck in the next few minutes as we open the envelope. Uh, and tomorrow when they go back to work and they face those challenges again. So thank you again to the CGCA and of course the National Post and ZSA. Uh, Baker McKenzie values the opportunity to be involved in the process and celebrate some of our clients in other than the usual way. So uh, during the otherwise frantic days of the year, uh, this evening gives us a chance to pause and briefly recognize uh, our own for being really good at what they do. Uh, so without further ado, we'll cue the video and we'll find out who our winners are. Tomorrow's Leader, presented by Baker McKenzie. The finalists are Shelley Babin, Vice President Law and General Counsel, Ontario Power Generation. Nils Engelsta, Vice President and General Counsel, Alamos Gold. Jason Galbraith, Director and Legal Counsel, Investments, Ontario Teachers Pension Plan Board. Daniel Holden, Vice President, General Counsel and Secretary, Nestle Canada. Caleb Hansberger, Vice President, General Counsel and Corporate Secretary, Roots. And Mark Toppings, Vice President, Legal and Corporate Governance and Chief Legal Officer, Sinai Health System. And so just so you don't think it's a PwC moment, there are actually two legitimate winners in this category. <laughs> so I'm going to read out two names. It's not a mistake. So uh, please join me on stage, uh, Shelley Babin and Daniel Holden. very much. Um, the nominees will know we received a number of emails from Dan over the last few weeks saying, please write a speech, which I did not do. Um, so apologies. Um, but I do really want to thank uh, ZSA uh, and the National Post and uh, the Advisory Board and also Blake's who have been wonderful partners to OPG for a long, long time. Um, I came to OPG about three years ago on a bit of a leap of faith from private practice, uh, basically because I really liked the people who spent an hour interviewing me. Uh, and those people are Chris Ginther and Brenda McDonald, and uh, they've had a lot of faith in me uh, to put me into the role that I'm in now uh, and really supported me 
Um, and uh, when I said to my husband, I didn't write a speech, what should I say? He said, thank your kids. So thank you to my daughters, Elizabeth and Audrey. Audrey picked out my outfit, so um, you know, didn't, uh, not as much thought as Justin Trudeau, maybe. But um, And thank you also uh, to my husband, Chuck, who's here with me tonight. Thank you. Uh, a little embarrassing, she stole my line. I also did not write a speech. Uh, so uh, I'll be very brief. Um, Thank you, obviously, uh, to uh, ZSA and the National Post uh, for the award. Uh, thank you to Bennett Jones uh, for nominating me. Uh, very appreciative. And to McCarthy's uh, for writing a wonderful reference letter for me uh, for this. Um, I will not thank my kids because they had absolutely nothing to do with uh, this at all. Uh, I will, however, thank uh, my wife, who is more responsible for any success I've ever had in my life than anybody else I can imagine, and who tonight uh, braved a room full of lawyers uh, to be here uh, with me as well, so I just want to thank her. All right, thanks.